Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use uh, the POSA application, POSA application. Um, so uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, um, I'd like you to note that this is not a, a POS uh, uh, transaction app. So you cannot make transactions on this app. It's uh, just an accounting application for POS agents. Now, as a POS agent, I'm sure you you do know that uh, you, you have a logbook where you log most of your transactions, so if all your transactions rather, and um, you have to do your reconciliation of your transactions every evening to know your profits, you know, your expenditure and all of that. Um, so this is basically an automated version of, of that system. Uh, now, um, I'll go through the buttons to, to give you an idea of what and how uh, you use them. First and foremost, once you get to this page, first thing you need to do is to add cash to the shop. So as you can see, the name of the shop on top and uh, the balance, zero balance. Uh, you have to add the cash. Now, what cash are you adding? The cash you're going to be adding is the cash you, you start your day with. So if you're starting your day with 100,000 Naira, you must add 100,000 Naira cash. It doesn't matter how much is in your bank account. What you just need to add is the cash coming to that particular shop. You know. Now, you, you have to do this every single time that you add, you bring money to the shop from, from, say, withdrawing money or sending money to your staff or whatever the case or the situation may be. But every time that you add money into your shop, it needs to be added here. That is uh, compulsory. So you add um, cash by pressing the middle button at the bottom, the, the Naira sign with the plus, and then add cash. So let's say we're adding 100,000 Naira. You write 100,000 Naira here. And then you click confirm uh, there we go so that's how you add cash to your shop now as you can see at the top there you can see 100,000 naira as your shop balance now with this you start to transact it's a cash in cash out system so it, it works with the amount of money you you have put into that shop so for a deposit it's an addition it's adding money to your shop people bring cash for you to send to people so when you want to record a deposit you just come to your press deposit uh, uh, button and you press the bank just the same way you write in your in your accounts book you write the person's account number the person's account name if you can get the person's sender number you put it there if not you just put some random numbers and then you add the amount you will be sending so let's say we're sending 10,000 naira you write 10,000 naira here you don't write the charge on in here so if you're doing 10,000 for 300 naira you don't write 10 3 you just write 10,000 the amount you are sending now here is where you write the charge 300 naira and you click confirm you know um, if you want to withdraw money you click the withdrawal if someone comes to withdraw money you click the withdrawal now here there are two ways people withdraw from from uh, a POS agent you can either transfer to the person or uh, to collect money or you use your card now if the person is transferring to you use the transfer tab here and then you select the bank he's transferring to that's your bank he's tra transferring to and then uh, the amount of money he is sending into the bank now, it doesn't matter if he's sending the charges on top of the money. Just the exact amount of money that is going to enter your bank account is what you write in amount. So if he's sending 5-2 to my account and I'm giving him, I'm charging him 200 for that transaction and I'm giving him 5,000, this is how I would, I would write that. 5-2 is what entered my bank account. If he's, if he's sending only 5,000 and I'm going to give him 4-8 or he's going to give me 200, then it's only 5,000 that entered my account. So this is what I'm going to write. If I am using a POS transaction, the same goes. I select the provider, uh, that's the POS machine I'm using, and, uh, and, and then I do the same thing. So the amount I'm charging the card is what I'm going to write here. If I charge plus the charges here, I would do that. If I'm also just charging the amount and, and for some, I'll get the charges from him or the other way, um, I would also do that. So you just write in the amount, you write the, the exact amount that you will be um, um, taking from the card. So that is how uh, this works. Now, there are two things with this deposit and, and withdrawals. A deposit transaction is a transaction that needs an action to be done. Therefore, once you've recorded this, you have to send the money. So say we did a quick uh, um, transaction here. Uh, we're sending money to Mr. John, Access Bank, and we're sending 5,000. I just want to give you a quick example. And uh, we charged him 200 for that. Confirm. Now, this, this needs an action to be done, which means I need to do something. I need to send money to that person. So once I have sent the money, I can now come to transactions and confirm that I have sent that money. If not, this transaction will remain pending in my transactions tab. Same thing goes with, uh, 
Same thing goes with the withdrawal where they have to transfer into your account. Once you've, you've recorded that, once you've seen the money, you have to go back into transactions and also confirm that you've received the money so that it now becomes a successful transaction. So those kind of transactions that need uh, even bill payments. Once you click bill payments here, you can select uh, whatever kind of uh, bill you want to pay. Uh, you put all the details here, the self-explanatory. Uh, the amount is obviously the amount they are paying for that particular thing and how much you are charging them is the charges so TV subscription you just enter the name the utility provider Echo DC Ikeja DC Abuja DC whatever the case enter the meter number the amount they are paying uh, for the token and then how much you're charging them for that and basically that's how that works all of those things also require an action you need to pay a certain bill so once you've paid the bill you have to go and confirm that you have paid the bill we, we put that system in there so that there is a we put that system in there so that we have uh, a feedback system in case you forget to do that transaction or you forget to do something. You, you get that notification or you see the, the pending transaction always there that is not reconciling your accounts. So you, it reminds you to, to do, do that transaction. Now, once you've been able to do the expenditure, okay, sorry about that. The expenditure here is where you're, you're going to be able to uh, record uh, uh, um, cash, um, um, cash expenses. You know, so if you take money from the cash you have in the shop, because this is a cash out, cash in system, if you take money out of the shop to maybe buy food or buy uh, fuel for your generator or whatever the case may be, you just record that here, 500 naira for fuel today and, and, and confirm that. So this just gives you a proper accounting of what, how and how you've, uh, you've used your, your cash today in the, in the shop, you know. So um, now uh, the statistics page is where you can come and see you. So we just did one transaction uh, here. We did a transaction with uh, with OPE, I think. Uh, it was a withdrawal of 5,000. Uh, no, it was a deposit rather of 5,000. OPE charges 20 naira for, for its uh, transfers. You know, so as you can see, there are profit from that transaction, which we charge 200 was 180 naira. You know, so it, it does all the reconciliation for you ex ex exactly as, uh, as as advertised. You know, if, you're, if, you, if, if you don't have your... Um, your your provider right now on our platform don't worry uh, within the next few weeks we're going to be updating on, and, and adding new new providers so very soon yours will be here you just keep checking to to see if yours has, has come so here in your statistics you, you have a graph that shows you uh, transactions you've done uh, prior uh, I mean sorry um, profits you've made prior and all that you know I can just come here and pick any date randomly and and see what happened that day how much cash was left in my shop that day, shop, uh, cash, shop cash left on that day was 397. Okay, there was no cash left that day, rather, sorry. Uh, profit uh, of, on that date was 14,500. Uh, these were the transactions I did in, and their numbers. Uh, you know, it just gives you those, those specifics. I can always refresh this button or I can select if I have multiple shops. Uh, now, um, what else? The transactions is basically just where you come and you see your transactions. Uh, so it's where you come and you confirm um, uh, the transactions you've done for that day. Now, there are two other buttons at the side at the bottom here. One of these buttons is the Add Shop button. This is only available to people who are not on the basic, pla uh, uh, basic plan. So you're either on the premium plan or the unlimited plan. So you can have more than one shop. So you can create another shop and run that shop just the same way you are running this one. Creates... Uh, um, uh, stuff and all of that now the the button on the right bottom is where you can create a staff so say I wanted to add a staff to uh, this shop or another shop or um, I have uh, I just come here and I create a shop account put the name uh, surname the person's phone number which you use to log in and the password and once I've created that uh, account the person has access to to that shop particularly once the person logs in he has access to that shop now person cannot do things like um, um, like um, re review transactions that's come and uh, uh, um, check a pending transaction or stuff like that they can just do the recording they can check the deposits they can check the withdrawals your staff cannot check the statistics you know only you can check the statistics so if you don't have an admin account you will not be allowed to check the statistics but if you want your your staff maybe the person uh, the person does all the transactions and doesn't need to call you you know to do maybe a transfer or withdrawal uh, or uh, pay a bill then you can give the staff transaction power at the, uh, with, with this uh, toggle here so you once you give him transaction power he's able to now go and uh, and review those transactions and and confirm them by himself so um finally um yeah your profile so in your profile here you can come here and you can change your password uh you can uh, uh change your your personal information uh 
and also you can upgrade so here are the three packages we have we have the basic the premium and the unlimited package if you just have one shop or one outlet and, and less than two staff you the basic package is fine it's just 500 naira uh, the premium package is for those people who have uh, lower than five shops but more than one you know so if you have uh, one to five shops then uh, you can go with the premium package is 1000 now the unlimited package is, is uh, like the name goes it's unlimited uh, so you have 15 shops 10 shops 20 shops uh, you can just select the unlimited packages 5,000 naira monthly for as many shops as you you can so um, yeah I wanted to keep this video as short as possible but there's really no way to explain all of these things in four minutes so uh, pardon the long video and uh, hopefully you have a, an understanding of how this system works now uh, thank you